This team of match was rough. Well, that's good. It's your boy Rico. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel Team Heracross. We are currently in third place. There's a couple hours left. I'm hoping that we can grind it out and take second place because I do want to get some Carmenite. Um, I do have three matches to show you guys today. Like I said, it was rough. If you take a look at my ELO, if it's going to appear here eventually, 3452, we took a 400 point drop. And I went through three different uh, teams, but I want to let you guys know before we even get started into this video, uh, I will be out of town Wednesday night. I'll be out of town until the weekend, until the Sunday. So you'll probably have one or maybe two more videos coming out, but then we're going to, like I said, take a break. Uh, from Wednesday to Sunday and I have a good match probably Monday that'll come out It's gonna be from hypenated gave me a nice match featuring the aqua store and it's gonna be pretty cool So I can't wait to show you guys that one um, But like I said, we have three matches to show you guys. We have three two boosters to open up and Yeah, I think we'll just go right there. Um, how's the team match going for you guys? Please let me know in the comments below the team match event They still have not fixed the matchmaking. I was going against 3 point or 2.9 2.8 players still going up against 3.8 players when I'm 3.4 so it was you know they're def they definitely need some work I'll show you guys my rating as well I hopefully we made it above uh, 500 and I was, gonna, I was gonna tell you guys something else but I forgot All right, let's take a look at this monthly points oh I, the reason why I don't have karma the reason why I want to take second place is because I don't have Carbonite, so we did do a five. We did the ten game booster uh, yesterday. We streamed it yesterday. Oh, look at that! Twenty one duels, eleven wins. So not bad. We are one game above five hundred. We did get six hundred points, so we did get to the uh, air balloon. And I have no desire. Well, there's some Carbonite, but I really have no desire to get this EX cube because I got plenty of EX cubes when I did the um, the ten game booster, which we actually did. We'd won. We did ten matches. We won 10 matches, and it wasn't bad because, I mean, like I said, team match event, the the ranking is the way it is. I either got completely destroyed or I just completely destroyed the opponent. I mean, I had, like, a couple good games, which I'm going to show you guys now. So let's jump into the first match. Okay, so this first match, um, destroyed. I was getting destroyed, and it ended up being a 6v2. So take a look. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about my deck, too. My deck went through three different renditions. This was the original deck, right? After playing and getting destroyed, I was like, all right, we can't have Lucario anymore. We need to have Dawn Wings. We need to have, well, Lucario is, we, we should have kept Lucario. But I was like, you know what? Because Lucario was my goalie, we're going to get rid of Lucario. And then I brought in Dawn Wings. And then Dawn Wings was okay, but this man kept failing me. This is the number three misser in the game. He always was rolling miss. Like when we streamed yesterday, I rolled so many misses. So... After that, we got rid of him and we brought in Lucario. So we, the final thing was Dawn Wings and then Lucario. And I mean, I only played a few matches today, and that was the last, the last deck I used. But going against my opponent, we're going against Candy Br. Pretty good figures here. They are rocking the Mega Ray, which I haven't seen Mega Ray um, in a while. Mega Absol, I haven't seen Mega Absol as well. But we did see, we actually ran into Mega Absol. I think maybe two, two or three times during the team match event. So. Uh, we are going to start off with the Grass Sphere because, oh, dude, Lunala. When I built this deck, I was just anticipating Dawn Wings, you know, Arceus, uh, Steelix. So I'm like, all right, we don't really need to worry about Lunala. But Lunala was the bane of my existence because we can't use a Typhoon Slash. We can't use a Fake Out. We can't uh, Water Jump. And I was like, dude, why am I seeing so many Lunalas? So... Yeah, Lunala was a uh, was an issue. So, uh, since we are playing Lunala, we played the Grass Sphere right away. I typically play Grass Sphere, Mighty Sphere right away. If I go first and there is a Mon that can just KO me, like if there's not, I will probably rush with Celi. But I was afraid if I put Celebi here, they would just attack with the Marshadow. So that's why I played the um, Grass Sphere. So now he's rushing up with the Marshadow. We have no choice but to put Lucario on our goal because Lucario is our goalie. And fractures. We ran, it, we ran across a couple of fractures as well, um, which is pretty interesting. So now we're going to uh, Mighty Spear. We want to get the Mighty Spear off so we can set up some surrounds here. I see this thing coming. I'm like, I don't want no part of you. We're actually going to go attack this Marshadow, and hopefully we get a fortune roll. Hopefully they get their gold, but they don't. I was trying to bench it, but it didn't happen, and I brings on this thing, which I don't like. 
All right, so now we're going to set up this around here. We're going to move with the, uh, the Verizion. We do have the Mighty Sphere. I do not care if I get surrounded too because you will come to my PC, but we get out damaged here. And I was like, okay, this is this is already bad. This is not good. So he's going to play the Dragon Sphere. It's going to come and attack. Well, he's not going to attack. It doesn't matter if he does. I can't get KO'd. Anything above one. Well, yeah, I can't get KO'd. Well, I could. Anything above 130, um, I do not get KO'd here. But he could hit the, the Break Energy. Well, I mean, I could roll a miss. <laughs> so actually, no, we were actually good. I mean, we had pretty good odds there. But now if you take a look at it, it is 3v6. We are not looking good, but take a look at that. My Z gauge is up. So we do have one win condition, and that is Celebi. But Celebi either has to get over here and attack Lucario, or if one of these mods move, we can attack the Fracture. And like we already talked about Lunala, Lunala cannot, allows me to not move. So I'm like, all right, we're just going to move over. I actually should have moved over there. But he's going to make a Lucario here. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. Because if he does attack here, I can't get KO'd by what he does. Well, I mean, he could hit his purple. So there's that. And, uh, yeah. What do you think happens? So now he hits his purple. And I'm like, okay, so now what we have to do is we have to move right here. And we have to hope he doesn't attack with Lucario. And he brings down the Lunala. And I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Please survive. Or can we please survive? Clutches it with the moon guys beam we have the grass here and i'm like all right this time it's now or never this is the only win condition here it's 2v6 hopefully this thing does not land its guillotine and it hits the dragon claw he survives but because of the psychic team we were able to pull out the win and hair cross didn't do anything hair cross just sat on the bench and that's what happened the majority the majority of the team match event so let's jump into match number two all right, now I promise these next two matches it's not just going to have Heracross sitting on the bench. Like, I promise you, I tried to set up for Heracross. And actually, this second match, I don't remember that well. But we're going against Crew. It looks like they have a pretty scary steel deck. Pretty meta figures here. So, objective here is to definitely attack into this thing because we want our Z. I don't even remember this game, actually. Let's see. Okay, so I, yeah, so they can't stop my rush, so I'm going to rush. Get it back. Covers up with Lucario. What do I do? Mighty Sphere. Mighty Sphere with the Keldeo because Keldeo can go into Resolute form. Now we're going to threaten the... Uh, why don't I just bring him here, actually? So we long throw. Oh. That was a mistake. Well, I, okay, I saved us. I was going to try to fake it. No, I actually should have put something right here before we attack there for the fake up. But we just attack there uh, just in the, uh, to reflect the ability. That way we can attack into z -Move. So we're going to attack here. It does have a large goal, but it's going. To, it's our first turn. Oh, I remember I attacked here because of the, the, uh, the, trick, the trick room. Regardless, I mean, whether it's a miss or not, we had pretty good odds because it was our first turn um, attacking. But they're going to max revive here. Which I actually agree with the play because they do have a lot of gold. Why am I not putting anything right here? I need to be putting something... Thank you. Okay, so now we can attack into this and try to get the fake out. So they're going to play the Grass Sphere here. Now we're going to go for the fake out. They get the fake out, but they get the Ultra Wall. Oh, I think I remember this match. This, this match was kind of weird. Uh, so they're going to Metal Coat here. They're going to bring their Steelix on the board. And we're going to attack again. Can we please get the fake out? And we do. And we have the Mighty Sphere. So now this stack attack is in our PC. So now we got to backtrack here because we do not want this uh, Celebi. But they're going to make it here. And attack in. They can't out. They cannot KO me because of uh, my ability. So we survived. Now we're going to take the gold because their Z gauge is up. I don't want to get cheesed here. Oh, yeah. And they go for the Continental Crush. I don't know why they went for the Continental Crush. They don't have... Let's see. The stack attack is not on the board. Rock and steel. Well, I mean, I I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, this, the steel one does not have good odds of KOing me. I mean, we have weight 9. But now we're going to air balloon. And we're going to take your Arceus. And now we have both of your mods in our PC. Oh, and he makes it like he doesn't even stay there. He goes right next to me and attacks. You hit for 130, and it hits him. But I cannot get KO'd uh, because of the ability. So I guess this match actually shows off um, what's his name? Scrafty pretty well. So we have our Z gauge up. We're going to Z move and get rid of the um, the Aegis Slash. Aegis Slash. 
Do I fake out here? I think I go for the fake out here. Special attack. Oh yeah, because he does have a three-star purple. So we're going to go for it here. He doesn't have a max revive. We're going to try to get the purple on purple. But he gets the takeaway. And I was like, oh, okay, now this is annoying. Now we have a game. Because that would have been GG, boys. Well, pretty much. But he gets another... He gets another takeaway. We attack here. We're trying to get... The reason why we attack there is because he still has this, the uh, Steelix on the board. If we were to stay there, you know, he would have just moved his ability there. So we were trying to feature it right there. We were trying to get the Heracross to get the overhead toss, bring the Lucario right here, and then that would have been GG, boys, because what, are they, what, are they, what would they have done? They would have just brought... Well, I guess they could have... No, that would have been game. Yeah, that would have been game. And we could have put Age Slash there, then we just around the fun turn. But Heracross does not get the roll. Lucario gets the roll. I attack here. I'm going to attack here just to get rid of this. I will be. Yeah, take away. We're going to get our um, Scrafty back. And then he attacks into here. We do get the Typhoon. Okay, I think I remember this match now, actually. So what we do here is we're going to Z-move. We're going to get rid of the Aegis Slash. And I believe my opponent Rage Quit after this. That's what it was. I think he Rage Quits. Yeah, so he <laughs> my opponent Rage Quit after that. But, I mean, I don't know why. He still had the Steelix. Steelix, well... Yeah, it was it was an uphill battle from there, uh, but he quit. So good game. I think it was crew. Good games to crew. Now let's jump into the third and final match. This match I think was one of the matches where I actually played pretty decent for the majority of the team match event. I don't. I was playing so bad. So we're going up against a pretty good. Well, I don't know. I don't know why the pony toe. Honestly, like you could run so many better runners with this deck like this this deck is solid right here but with the ponyta like unless you're rocking double ponyta and other rush figures i don't think you should run a singular ponyta so ruckus i don't like why not the marshadow i think marshadow fits here yeah i would go marshadow actually even celebi just for meta but yeah i don't i don't know why the ponyta maybe just to but you don't have any rush figure i don't know i don't know uh, but we go first. We are going to Grass Sphere because of the takeaway. And then I see what they're going to do. They're going to rush with the Ponytail, so we're going to cover. Um, Don Wings has to be our goal. We have a lot of purple. And the thing is I don't like about the Ponytail, something that I've learned playing in the team match event. I, th I play like two or three Ponytails, right? And they do, you know, they open up with that, which is, you know, typical Ponytail. But if you don't have other rush figures, it's not worth it because Don Wings destroys this thing. Once the, I get the board set up, I have a free attack on the Ponytail. So... I don't necessarily agree with, uh, you know, just rushing with the Ponyta, unless you have multiple Ponyta or other Rush figures. So we're going to Mighty Speed here. We're going to bring it on the Lucario. I see this thing coming up. I don't want this thing Mega. I don't want it taking my entry point. I don't think he has Air Balloon, so that's why I put Lucario there. Let me see. Oh, he does have Air Balloon. Okay. But still, he was not right here. So we were in no threat to get our entry points taken. So now, like I said, we're just going to move over. Free attack. There's no reason not to. We get the Photon Geyser. We don't get the Moon Geist Beam, but there's no ability now, which... Oh, yeah, he can't just do the rush ability. All right, so he's going to bring on the Arceus, <laughs> which I was... Okay, still grand. No, no, no. It was, okay, so this this other match that I played, this guy had an Arceus. He brought on his Arceus, and he copied my Pinsir's um, typing. I have no idea why he did that. But it looks like we got the Steel Ground um, Arceus here, so I believe I long throw here. Yeah, I'm going to long throw. We're going to long throw the Verizion because Verizion... Oh, yeah, we're going to threaten the... Um, the cheese there <laughs> and then see now ruckus is just backing off so now we can have a free attack into the well i wouldn't really say free attack because we do have the energy ball and he does have a large gold but i i make this play almost every time whenever i see arcus we are definitely going to attack with the um the celebi now the reason why i moved up my pincer or hair cross the only reason in case for some reason Ruckus wants to bring down the Ponyta and attack, and it somehow gets the Flame Will, and we get the Overhead Toss. We just have the Surround set up, so that's why I brought up the hair across a little bit. So now they're going to cover goal, and now we are going to attack again, and we do get rid of the Arceus. I've had Arceus roll its freaking return a couple times against my Grass, and I've been pretty salty here. But I was actually scared of that because I was scared of this falling attack, so we survived, though, and now we're going to back off with our uh, Celebi. We want our Celebi on the board. Oops, no. So now he moves closer to Steelix with the, the, the Primal Kyogre. And now we're going to attack into this thing because we can destroy this thing because it has the Gyro Ball. It's going to get plus 30 damage. Grass Knot, of course you guys know what Grass Knot does. But he does land the Metal Sound. 
So I'm going to corkscrew crash here. We're going to get rid of the Absol. We're going to move back here because I don't want to get attacked by the Dull Blade. Dull Blade has a free attack on the Lucario, and they are rocking the power battle if Lucario is next to it. So that's why we are going to come right back, but we're just going to get rid of it. I'm not really worried about this. Can't take me away. We do have the Grass Fear on. And they're going to max revive here. And I'm like, okay, this is fine. I hope you attack. And I hope we get the overhead test. And we can feature it. Let's go. Damn. Get the dodge. I'm like, all right. But now we're going to take the entry point here. And we're going to attack again. But he gets the metal sound again. Dude, this thing rolls metal sounds so much. We need to calm ours. I can't wait to run Dull Blade again. Dude, I miss running Dull Blade. Uh, but they're going to take Tonic Rage here. And they're going to get rid of my um, Verizion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to max revive my Verizion because one, we have the Grass Fear. You cannot take me away. Two, I'm anticipating my opponent attacking with the Arceus. I mean, it makes sense just to get rid of one of my figures, just to get advantage on the board. But if we somehow get the overhead toss, we can move you right here. My Verizon is going to be right here, and then I'm going to surround you, and then you're going to come into my PC. So that is why we make this max revive right here. Baiting Ruckus to attack, and he does. I'm like, let's go. Come on for the two, please. We get the roll, but he gets the extreme speed, so I'm a little salty there. I'm like, I just want to show it for the two, but we're going to continue attacking into this dull blade, and we get the energy ball, and I'm like, come on, dude. Like, you, uh, this is, That was three times. Third time is supposed to be the charm. We're still going to attack. It makes the most sense because we're okay here. He's going to advance up with the Arcus. I'm like, let's go. Please. Okay. Finally, finally, we can get rid of the Dull Blade, and now we can start advancing up with our Keldeo. Uh, so they're going to attack here. We do get the Typhoon Slash. We survive this roll, which is fine. We're not going to take the switch there, and then we're just going to move up and be in a threatening position. So now they're going to DC here. And the funny thing is, once he made this play, they DC'd, and then he sat there for a minute and then realized he made a mistake because it doesn't even matter if you KO'd or got the roll on my Dawn Wings. My Dawn Wings is going to de-evolve because I'm not going to accidentally throw it in the PC like I did against Devani. Um, but I would just de-evolve and then surround the following turn with the Verizion, and then Veriz or the Arceus would be in my PC. I don't know why he just didn't go for the... Uh, the Verizion. But because of that mistake, now we can move on our Keldeo here. We don't even need attack. And all we gotta do is survive this roll, and that's GG boys. So they're gonna attack here, and we clutch it. We do get the water jump, and that is going to be GG boys to Ruckus. See, look at the look at the look at the matchmaking. 3.8 versus 3.3. Like they need to fix that, man. And how do they fix it? They need to globally release this game. We need more people playing. That's why the matchmaking is the way it is, because there's not that many people playing. I don't know why they're still, still not globally releasing the game. But, all right, that is going to be, that's going to conclude the team match event. Like I said, there's a couple hours left. Team Heracross, can we hold on? And, guys, we have a, about a week or so to look forward into the new banner. Hopefully it is bug. Hopefully it is fighting. I want a new EX Heracross. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, as always, peace.